Hey, in this video, we are going to see how to improve your glow effect looking like this to this using three simple steps. So this is Lack from Lack Adworks and let's get started. Hey, look who's here. It's Mr. Pumpkin. So we are going to paint his face and make him glow. To do so, you should understand a very basic principle that there is no light without darkness. For that, we are going to paint the entire image in a darker value range, whereas his eyes and mouth where the light will be in a lighter value range. For the first step, choose a brush with hard edge. It doesn't need to be fancy. You can even work with a default round brush that you get with every digital painting software. And select a color with lighter value range. Normally, I used to paint these with slight change in values so that I can have some really cool variations. Variations helps your image look a bit more lively and believable. During the first step, use the colors as light as possible, but avoid using pure black and pure white as it may look odd in your image. Even though we are done with the first step, Mr. Pumpkin's eyes and mouth doesn't glow. So here comes the second step, Bloom. Bloom is a soft, dreamy looking light that surrounds the strong source light, which gives a sensation of glow in the image. For the second step, you need to choose a airbrush or a soft brush and uh, make a new layer Set the layer blending option to linear dodge add. When the layer blending option is in linear dodge add, for every stroke you make, it makes the values lighter and lighter. With the airbrush selected, paint the edges around the light source to make it soft. Don't overdo the step as it may make your image too soft and, that, and in nature you can see this effect but it is not that visible. So dial it down and keep it subtle. So we are done with the bloom, but still it doesn't feel like there is light coming out of the source. To do so, the light from the source should affect its environment where it's placed. That shows that the object is placed in a 3D space. Here there is not that many elements that light can interact with. But still there is this floor around Mr. Pumpkin, so we can uh, make the light interact with the floor. It gives a sensation that the Mr. Pumpkin is placed in a 3D environment and the light interacts with the environment around him. The light that's hitting the floor shouldn't be that strong when compared to the primary light because it's an ambient light. If you want to know more about basics of lighting and how uh, lights and shadows work, check out my previous video. I have also attached the PDF of Mr. Pumpkin so that you can practice how to make something glow. Using these three steps, you can always achieve the same result again and again without any changes because clean process equal to repeatable result. I've read some interesting thing in the internet that to achieve the same bloom effect in photography, photographers used to apply Vaseline over the lens to get this dreamy kind of look. I thought it was interesting so I thought of sharing it with you. I'm just adding some final touch to the image by adding and removing some elements in the scene, that's it. I have also made the image darker to make the light bit more prominent. If we convert it into grayscale and uh, compare it with the value chart, you can clearly see that the value of the image lies in the darker side whereas the light area falls within the lighter region of the value scale. So in this image we are going to apply the things that we have learned so far in this video and bring this image to life. The playback speed is increased so sit back and enjoy. I hope you like this video, if so like and subscribe and if you find it useful share it with your friends. So that's it for today, see you in the next video, bye.